y'all, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be recording a wake up with me, get ready with me video, or edition. So I just wanna put it out there. Thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I just wanna put out there that I'm gonna be recording on my channel um, and putting out videos that are military related and daily vlogs. Go ahead and comment any type of video you would like to see on my channel and I can record that for you. All right, y'all, let's get started. It is now 5.17 in the morning and now we're gonna get dressed. <laughs> So now I'm gonna show y'all how I do my hair in the morning. I essentially only use two hair products, eco gel and hairspray. Normally I use any kind of liquid hairspray, not the aerosol one. A liquid hairspray is a little bit easier to control. And also I'll use a bristle brush and a rat tail comb. I tend to notice that a lot of people who are active duty and use um, a lot of hair products and also pulling your hair back always, using the same consistent part every time you do your hair, your hair will begin to have a receding hairline and hair loss in that one particular area. So I tend to switch up my hair parts every day or sometimes I use the same hair part twice in a row. And you just try to have fun with it and try to do a little bit of different things every time you do your hair in the morning. So today I'm gonna be doing a part from left to right. So essentially I'll go and I'll grab my rat tail comb, take it into a part, and just pull it up, and just pull it across my hair. And then I'll start going and defining this hair part. Sometimes I like it super far over. Oops, that was not good. Or like, just right there. You're just gonna keep on go going over this part until you reach, um, basically a way of looking that you like. I don't really know how to describe that. But I'm pretty satisfied with how it's looking right now. So every time I put, oops, crazy. Every time I put hair gel in my hair, I will take off my ring. Because this stuff, the longevity of it, when you have your jewelry on, it will tarnish your jewelry. Oops. It will tarnish your jewelry. And yeah, so I'll just grab a scoop, I'll put it in my hand like this, and just start layering it up, like gooping it down. I'll put it in the back, goes down the sides. I have long but thin, fine hair, and if you guys have a thin and fine hair, I think it's beneficial for you to invest into a sock bun or a bun maker per se. I used to have one until it broke and I always forget to buy one every time I'm running my errands. So you guys will see that my bun will be itty bitty, but you're gonna realize, oh, it makes sense. I should get a sock bun, it's, it looks nicer because it looks fuller. It looks like you have a lot more hair. And you're gonna see that people who have thick hair tend to have nice thick buns. I tend to care about my hair and if it looks nice and if I have it slicked back and gelled down and stuff. There, you'll see a lot of people on the fleet that they don't care and it's crazy. my fingers through so I can get the gel to the front of the big ears. 
And then I will go in again with a red silk comb. Just comb it through. Just comb it through. In the back. Back. And in the front. I'll take my bristle brush and I'll essentially be going down with it and layering it however I'd like and pulling it back. So I'll just swoop over my ear. And then if there's any parts that my bristle brush cannot get, like bumps or, pers or anything like that, then I'll go in again with my red toe comb so I can get it all out and make it all even so that my bristle brush can basically do its job. I think this evolution takes about 10 minutes. Since I'm talking to you guys, I think it'll be a little bit longer. But it's okay, because I have time. Never rush in the morning, always wake up earlier. It's not gonna be fun. You wanna get that extra sleep in, but then you're gonna be rushing and I hate flyaways and I hate bumps in my hair. So if you ever see me out there have flyaways or bumps in my hair, it's because it wasn't a good hair day. So I'll just go in again, grab some more. Go in, putting a little bit more down so I can reach. There, yeah. look like and I'll be satisfied with so all the way down this is bothering me this is what I mean <laughs> and I tie my hair with three hair ties I tend to use the same ones until they break because if you keep on using different ones like opening ones from a different pack or whatever. You're gonna run through hair ties like crazy, so I just use the same three. Okay. Oops. Oops. So I'll do two tied together. Put my hair in a ponytail. Pony. Obviously, if you had a sock button, you'd put the sock button in now, but I don't. So, I'm just going to get my hair, and what I do is I just grab it and twist until we finish going all the way around. And when you finish and you don't have any more hair, that's when you'll go ahead and tuck it in and use a hair tie. That's it. What I'll do is I'll then go in with um, hairspray in the back and on the bun as well. And then I'll also spray down my ears because I wear glasses and I will have flyaways if I don't spray them down. But yeah. That noise in my ear makes me like feel some type of way. So I'll just do that. I'll put some in the back. 
My hair looks really good today. I like it. Oh shit. Whoops. Huh? My bun is itty bitty again. Sock bun is where it's at. But when I'm done, I'll just put away all of my stuff and then continue on with the rest of my morning. So, after this, I'll just wash off my hands and I will brush my teeth, make some breakfast. Put my lunch. I'll gather my things for my lunch and just put it in my book bag for work. And then, yeah, I'll be on my way. It's 5:46. And also, make your bed in the morning. I did that, but I forgot to record that part. Y'all should make your beds. The best part of your day is when you'll come home to a made bed y'all did this in boot camp it takes 21 days to build a habit make your beds every morning one little win conquering and making your bed that sets your day up for success and if you have a bad day imagine you coming home into your room and you see your bed made imagine how that makes you feel it makes you feel like you did something Get that little win and take that for yourself. And it just makes you feel a little bit better. But make your beds. Um, I'm gonna brush my teeth and then I'll catch you in the kitchen. All right, so we're in the kitchen now and I'm gonna make a breakfast smoothie. Um, I was looking in my fridge last night and I saw my it smells like mm, smoothie for breakfast sounds so good. But I only used four things. It'll be a strawberry banana smoothie. So for my base, I will use almond milk. And I have whole frozen strawberries and also sliced bananas. Sometimes I'll just get the bananas myself, slice them and freeze them or leave them whole. But this time I saw that they actually had sliced bananas at the grocery store, so I just got them. Made things a little bit easier. But I will just fill it up. These basically add however much you would want, so I would do this much of strawberries. And So my roommate, when I was in A school, put me on to putting agave sweetener in your smoothies in the morning. Well, in your smoothies in general. And I think it's the best thing that I've ever discovered. So, yeah. So I'll just drizzle in some. Just gonna blend until I think that I like the thickness of the smoothie. I like it pretty thin where I can just drink it. Some people like it thicker, but I'll blend and blend until I feel like it's ready. So I just stopped blending. Oh my god. I didn't realize I was so weak. Oops. Oh. Let me see. Oh. Oh. 
taste weird. I don't think I put in this penis bananas. Normally I, I'll put a whole banana. Yeah, I just don't think I'll put it in there. I like my stuff really watery and this is still kind of thick. bullet came off so I have to put it back on if I want my items to stay inside of the fucking blender. Okay. Okay, take care. Okay. Let's do it again. I just want it sweeter. It's not that sweet. And it just tastes like. I don't know. Normally, it's, I just. It's the one and done. I don't know why it's taking me so long to make this movie. Let's see if I know how to mute this part of the video so you guys don't have to hear this blender. But you know, I'm still learning. So good. But yeah, now I'll just put my stuff away, put everything back in the cabinet, and I'm gonna transfer this into a cup and wash my dishes. So now we're here at the sink, and I'm gonna wash all of my dishes. And I literally have like my container from last night in a smoothie bowl. So I'm just gonna pop it in the drying rack in the dishwasher. I don't use the dishwasher ever. Because, I don't know, I just don't. But yeah, I have a lot of time to kill. Well, not a lot of time, but yeah. I'm pretty good on time this morning. Some days, some mornings are earlier than others. Sometimes I typically wake up at 04.15 for work, but today was a later start day. So we got everything we needed done yesterday for today. And yeah, I don't live too far from work. So that's the best part, I think. Some people that I work with live like 30 minutes to an hour away from work. For someone that I work with that literally lives a whole hour and a half away. And I think that that's crazy. But, yeah. I'm just gonna wash this, grab my stuff, and just go to work. But I think the best part about my mornings is that I just take time into consideration to not rush. And I get a lot of things accomplished throughout the morning. Oops. So I feel good. And I could just, you know, have a conversation with myself or set goals for the day and just start off on a good note. I tend to listen to work, worship music in the morning. I think that that's been a, a great part of every morning. That sets the tone for the day. And also, I've noticed that when I don't make my bed, I just don't have a good day. I just don't have a good day because then all, all day I'll be thinking about my bed. I'm like, man, I wish I would have made my bed. But I just didn't.
You guys didn't realize that all of the things that you guys used to do in this camp, like always cleaning, just being 110% like always good to go, never leaving a mess behind where you are, that stuff, you're gonna hopefully stick to that and create that habit to also do the same in your household. I'm that type of person that I dirty something, I wash. I use something, as soon as I'm done, I'll put it away. Because if you just let that stuff linger around, you're just gonna say, I'll do it later. But you just don't. And everybody knows that you don't do it later. And it just, it's on the back burner. And you just won't ever think about it again. So just get it one and done. And you'll be on your happy way and you'll have to think about it again. And also, I take food to work from home that I've cooked. I think the best type of um, food container that I've invested in was glass. Because it's a lot easier to clean, it's a lot safer, and your food never gets stuck in like all the crevices of the plastic. Well, then I'm a coworker. She put me on. I don't want to put y'all on. I got all of my containers, I think it was TJ Maxx, they're pretty cheap, and then there's a bunch of different sizes, if you just want to try one to try it out, there's like the single loose ones, and then there's also like a pack of them, okay. I'm just going to finish up washing here, so I can set up, this is the time I normally head out, it's 6.13. I like to head out no later than 6.20 to be at work at 6.45. I'm gonna wash my hands, put my dog away in her cage. Oh, I need to splatter water in my I need to grab my stuff and get out. So I'll catch y'all in the car. So now I'm in the car getting ready to head out. This concludes my video for today. Thank you for joining me on a wake up with me, get ready with me in the morning for work edition. And I have my smoothie. It's awesome. I'm ready for today and ready to conquer it today. It's a little winds, y'all, it's a little winds. Woke up early, made my bed, got ready, made this video, had breakfast. Yeah that sets you up for success throughout the day. So go ahead and comment down in the comment section. Drop a comment. Say what you want to see in my future videos. And I would love to get that content out for y'all. And come join me on this journey. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for today's video. And I would love to start posting more. See ya.